the toe pushed. Sean here, Shop Task YYC. Life is good, back at the rink. Moving on, so part three of jumping the toe push. So this is where, to me, it comes together as a jump. This is what we're gonna be doing if we're trying to actually jump over something, not so much a heel pop that we talked about in the first video. The benefit of the heel pop was for generally skating around, getting used to the stomp landing, kind of comfortable with that position. Part two, we talked about the stomp landing, so now jumping. So the toe push to me, is the final part of the jump that's going to give it that extra boost of power for clearing over something easily certainly in street situations if you're ever skating you know at moderate high speeds and there's things that you need to be able to get around sometimes the safest thing to do is just jump right over top of it so an example to me would be you know you're picking up speed going down a hill and then there's a rough patch of pavement right and maybe you don't want a chance rolling through this rough stuff it makes more sense for a little jump so this is the kind of jump we're gonna be using, that sort of thing, but certainly jumping in any sense. Okay, so moving on. Here's what it looks like on the spot. And the idea is I'm on a high friction surface, so I can just get used to the movement without having to worry too much about my wheels rolling away from me. But if I'm doing it on a mat like this or a piece of cardboard, I do wanna make sure that there's some freedom of movement. My feet aren't stuck to the ground. Okay, here we go. So approaching the jump, slight bend forward to put the weight on that second wheel, right? Bending my knees, pushing my shin right into the tongue. So I'm making sure I'm feeling that tongue, right? And now I'm kind of finding my toes. Now as I'm jumping, right, my arms are coming up, but I'm not oh, I'm swinging them a little bit there. I guess maybe I swing them a little bit, but certainly nothing exaggerated. As I bring everything up here, I finish the jump with the flick of my toes. The tricky part there, as many people could probably attest, is it is possible if you're going too far off your toes that they're gonna slide out behind you as you're trying to push up. So that's why it's super important that you find that second wheel as you're approaching so you're not too heavy in the toes. And then as you lift off the ground, it'll be safe to push off your toes. Okay, excellent. So, the first thing we want to practice now is just setting up the jump properly. So I want to show you the difference between my normal ready rolling stance, which I call the predator, and the gliding stance I'd be using when I'm setting up the jump. And the key difference being my predator stance is going to be third wheel. So I'm going to be just slightly more back through the heels. I feel the balance of the heels of my feet here. And my wheels feel really light. Cool, and now when I'm getting into my jump, I'm moving to the second wheel. Key point there, of course, make sure that you're pushing your shins into your tongues. Cool, so right there's my predator, and then that's my jumping stance. So it's a very subtle weight transfer, but um, if you're wearing, you know, naturally rockered wheels, you'll feel the difference right away, um, and you'll be ready now to start the jump. Okay, so now jumping while I'm moving, kind of going through all those same steps, and now definitely focusing on the landing. And remember the landing I want to go for is that uh, stomp landing where my heels touch down slightly before the rest of my wheels as I fall into a sitting position, you know, and um, depending on the speed, my shoulders could be way out in front and this kind of thing, as long as my bum is back, right? Balancing that way, okay. 
let's try a few jumps. Ah, felt good. Nice, nice. Let's try again. Feeling pretty good. Landing is, you know, if you can stomp it out every time, you're a superhero, but at least 60% of the time, you're gonna have to fudge the landing somehow. So there's lots of little tricks like that, and for the most part, it's using our edges. So we'll get to that next time. Thank you for watching. Namaste.